someone suddenly unexpectedly hugged me from the behind when i turned in it was jay surya and even he kissed me forcefully vidavela babu mukesh and uh, maniam balaraju and jay surya are the villains in malayalam film industry they had a over confidence that these ladies will never come in front of the public and tell they were abused i have seven and a half followers in my facebook even prime minister also will see huh? even minister will see all the highly officials will see sudesh gobi's makeup man he threatened me government should st- strict action against the culprits and i have settled here before um, i was in chennai before that i was working in uh, dubai uh, in legal consultancy uh when i got an opportunity in balachandra menon's movie they ingotu nokki i came to act the uh, act in that movie as a chief secretary and the um, location and the shooting was in a secretariat in trivandrum so when i went to the toilet everybody were uh, sitting down in the ground that time i went to the toilet and when i was, came out from the toilet no someone suddenly unexpectedly hugged me from the behind when i turned you know it was jay surya and even he ke- kissed me forcefully and i just pushed him and i just uh, i ran down and i was uh, really comfort with jagdish rigumar he was very genuine and he decent with me uh, and i was very comforted i thought of sharing my uh, this thing uh, this experience with him i thought and i just pulled the chair and i sat with him mama jagdish rigumar chair that time jay suri also came behind me and he asked me uh, me i'll ask you one thing just answer yes or no i just looked at him then he said i have a flat in toronto if you cooperate uh, with well and good you'll be benefited i said no after that i had no any any approach from jay surya so this happened because jagdish rigumar yes jagdish rigumar uh, salim uh, salim ka uh, all the prominent actors were there in there even balachandra menon everybody were there that time uh, so then uh, Uh, after that uh, the same in that same location itself idavela babu was also there and uh, he also es- expressed his interest uh, uh, for for a relation sexual relation and uh, be with me and i am a single i am a bachelor and uh, you can be with me we can do so many things uh, are you sir can you sing uh, can you dance ah uh, then it is good i can introduce you in uh, abroad and all i can take you to abroad uh, i like that so that time uh, it, it was a fresh and, and it was my first movie i didn't i didn't understand properly what's going on okay after that uh, my calendar movie uh, that calendar movie uh, I, i i was invited as malaya maniambala rajus wife that time he too in an express his interest uh, that time and all i was driving myself and going in the, in the location so deliberately one con- production controller sent maniambala rajus to my car they could have sent it to production car no why they sent it purposely deliberately they sent so he was sitting next to me in the front seat itself and, and i am driving that time he was asking what's your name so and so then he slowly he changed his track where is your husband abroad so how will you um, uh, tolerate um, uh, how will you spend your days without a husband uh, i bought uh, I, i mean how uh, i will you sleep alone like that and all he started to ask that time i said uh, chata you misunderstood about the ladies you are thinking that the uh, that nri's wives they are after sex and they are for, for the sex for the sake of sex they they may approach any uh, any boys that is wrong completely wrong now technology has changed a lot and there is lot of equipments has come and our the nri's uh, nri's husband itself purchased some kind of, um, at, at, at some things so that i don't want to disclose at you now you just enter then you will get it so don't think that we are after sex and all we know how to satisfy us if if we are very much need what is that what is that amber then hot let it oh then he asked me uh, tell me what is that just ask me explain that then i said okay you are hot listen you know you can get down you know they are not supposed to ask me to drop him in the hotel it is not my job i am an art- artist no i had to go to ernagulam but still i dropped him in the hotel then i went to ernagulam from kuttikanam mm-hmm. i drove myself up. so the next mo- movie na da tadiya movie da tadiya movie also uh, he was there that time he told me minu um, actually my accommodation is whitefort hotel mm-hmm. and i came to know you are there in in fort gochi hotel so i purposely told the production controller give me a room near near minu's room and he came, I, then i came here so in the night i'll come you have to keep the door open i'll come there i said no no chance 
no no chat i am not like that and i cannot like that no what is there you have to please no 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 i will come whatever it is i will come you have to keep keep the door open but uh, after the um, shooting no i went to the room i just put lights then i slept uh, switching off my phone i just slept because i was too tired also that time he called into my phone then even he came to my uh, the, my room and he knocked the door no i don't know who knocked the door he might be of course and nobody else told me and i didn't open the door then he called me in the land phone then i just uh, removed the wire land phone the wire also then i slept nicely then the next morning when i went to the location and he insulted me for no reason he shouted at me in front of uh, everyone even achika achika bu was the director even he was also blinking what's going on and he got angry on me and even i became so sad uh, i didn't do any mistake then the you know my colleague uh, varsha was the gayatri varsha she asked me uh, minu what's going on why he got angry go on uh, then i told her i disclosed her because she's a lady you know i told her she so and so so and so ah this thing is i know very well this thing is happening everywhere mm. like that so this thing is happened then after acting in six movies actually after after acting in three movies we can apply for a, a membership in amma association so after six movie i applied uh, i approached um, um, idavela babu for for a membership then he asked me to come to his flat in kalur uh, for filling the form mm-hmm. i went there i went there when i was um, filling the form he hugged me from the behind and he kissed me on my, in my neck and uh, you know so affectionately only he did but i just pushed him because uh, we are not enemy and he is not a stranger so i, I could in act in an arrogantly there i said no 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 please please leave me leave me i am not interested i like that he said see why can't you adjust with me i am a bachelor here yeah. and why you are so arrogant like that he asked me but also i just i didn't i didn't stand there i didn't even i didn't uh, finish the fill up the form that just came out okay then i approached innocent chatan who is president of mm. amma association then he gave me someone's number in this committee he contact him and he can become a member so i contacted so and so so and so and after that this so, mla mugesh no he called me aha uh-huh, you try to enter the amma association without my knowledge ah huh? do you think you can enter like that <laughs> nothing will happen without my knowledge it turn money nothing so you try to be very smart right you cannot share your bet na don't share don't share the bet you do one thing just uh, you know just cover the uh, cover there with the candles wask wask just uh, put there and, and just close it don't give to anyone mm-hmm. you know it was you know uh, i was so shocked you know by hearing such a filthy filthy you know humiliation from uh, mukesh i was really buried then i thought that then the, the after that you know one committee member called me you know you have to act some more films to get a membership because the committee members don't know you and i asked who are the committee members actually i didn't know who are the committee members then they said idavela babu jay surya manimbala raju mukesh so how without sharing bed no how they will uh, support me so they said we don't know minu so they didn't give me a uh, membership in amma then also i heard uh, many movies they cancelled they said no, no minu is useless she is worthless don't call her remove her call some other artist so then i thought no point of being in a film a malayala film industry so i just called one of my friend who is in kerala comedy i, I called him and he took an interview and i yes uh, disclosed everything there i heard some so like this adjustment is going on everybody is asking adjustment so i am leaving malayalam industry and they put a title minu is leaving malayalam industry because she is unable to cooperate adjustment big title but also no one contacted me approached me who wronged you who abused you no one so i thought better shift from here so uh, it it happened 2013 that article came i had a big desire and big dream about that arts you know and uh, so uh, you were different from others yes even though you you are a victim uh, you are so strong you identified the perpetrators you identified the culprits what was like your motivation behind it like, your courage that time political politicians were were influenced even law was also uh, influenced so i knew that nothing will happen and this so called seniors in the film industry they were possessing the film industry according to their wish with the money 
and uh, um, I understood nothing will work out in, in film industry or even if I give a complaint to the police station also, these people will suppress that. Now how happened, what happened in uh, uh, HEMA committee? For four or five years, they suppressed, no. Like that, uh, I, I understood there is no point of giving a, an, a complaint that time before 13 years. That time, uh, media was also not uh, that much, you know, active at that time. And, and at the time. Uh, in police officers, also they were telling us, in nothing, they, this girl doesn't have any job. Why only one lady is approaching? Actually, the, no, everybody is scared to not disclose this matter. All small girls only, those who are not married, how can they react? Because they have to get married, no? They have a future life. If they react in public, if they keep combined in police station, even we don't know how the exploitation will come out. We don't know. So they all were scared and uh, they were frightened. Once the HEMA committee, all these ladies, all the victims came together and they discussed together and they complained and uh, we also got uh, an opportunity to disclose our matter too. So now I understand because uh, our minister also um, you know, stated that if who all uh, you know, attacked uh, or uh, abused, they can come forward and we will take a, a strong, action, strong action against them, whoever it is. Like that, I can't for con No, never, never, never. Because government didn't know such filthy things is going on, atrocities are going on. In Malayalam film industry, no one knows. They all had a highly appreciation and a highly respect towards celebrities. But now only they all shocked to know what is the real thing is happening in Malayalam film industry. So, of course, now people are also very intelligent and they are very alert also and uh, even the media, even the high police officials, all will, all will uh, in the support, they will stand for justice, I believe.